What's going on everyone? Aaron here, Clean Cuts Lawn Care. It is Tuesday morning. Uh, on my way to a job right now, we're gonna be cleaning up some islands in the backyard of this, uh, on this property. It's not a mowing account. It's just a, you know, a job that came in. Clean this lens off. So we're going through our annual confirmation of checking with our mowing customers of, you know, who um, is still on our route. We have lost a couple customers. Um, you know, one said that her son, his work schedule changed and he wants to mow the lawn. Um, it's a huge property. I doubt that's going to last. Uh, she saw, she's also having some financial problems. So, who, who knows, maybe it'll last. Another one just said she's going to try doing it herself to save the money. Uh, honestly, we did not care one bit about losing that one. Uh, she had became a little bit of, little bit of a problem um, last year. We are still waiting for a few to confirm that we didn't get a hold of. But pretty much, you know, the overall is people are confirming. Uh, we have signed on quite a few, um, I'd say in the past week we've signed on six new mowing accounts. Um, we are expanding another city over, which isn't far. Uh, as you guys know, our route is pretty tight. 70% um, of our business is in the city we live in. And then, you know, on the outskirts uh, attaching cities, we have accounts all pretty close um so yeah we are expanding a little bit further west and um also in the past week we have sold quite a few uh landscaping jobs mulch jobs cleanups so uh, today's job is very small no one's coming with me it's just going to be me but we do have some bigger mulch jobs that uh vicky and robbie will be out on uh, he is going to be mowing this year. I think he'll probably start off working two days a week. And then, you know, once everything is very busy, uh, he will be working more. So we'll see how that, um, you know, how many days he ends up working as we get busy. So, all right, I'm pulling up to the job right now. And I'll show you guys what we're, what we're doing. All right, here's what we're doing. We're cleaning up this island. And that one over there, we're going to cut everything down to the ground so it can grow back fresh. We're going to get all these weeds out of here. Not the stuff that's already grown, like this. Uh, that stuff will stay. Not anything green. All that will stay. So all the way around there, all through here. And the same with this um, island over here and then we're gonna get all the debris out of here haul it away and there's a small island over here and a small one over on this side that we really didn't talk about um, but they're real small I'll probably just uh, clean them out get the leaves out and uh, make it look good so all right let's get started
trimmers for the bigger stuff like that. All right, I went through with the trimmer, got all the um, growth out. Now I'm gonna go through with the hedge trimmer, get uh, you know the bigger stuff um, that I couldn't get with the trimmer, like right here, lower that down. Um, just get a few things, a clean cut on a few things like that. And uh, then we'll start cleaning it up and see how it looks. debris in here. It's been uh, two weeks since I quoted this job. The customer had the back beds spotless. No leaves, no nothing. See over there, ton of leaves, ton of leaves in here. I blew out the leaves in that bed and I can tell you there were not this many leaves here at the estimate. Um, and being it's already late March. I didn't really plan on more leaves arriving. 
I might have to make a separate trip to the dump. All right, pretty much all wrapped up. Um, customer's not home yet, and I wanted to do a walkthrough before I go to the dump. I did get everything in the truck. I just um, tarped it off and sealed it down. So you can see from when we started to the difference now, um, we took out probably close to three yards two and a half yards of debris mainly leaves and some of the stuff that I cut back inside of here this will all be full of ivy again uh, probably in the next month see that man it was really bad over here uh, a lot of I mean, you could even see where she had this little bit of mulch down you couldn't see any of that so we just did this all the way around both beds well islands whatever the tall stuff like that I cut I cut um, the tops off just to bring it down all this you couldn't see any of this couldn't see this same thing in here so I'm pretty sure that I got, you know, what she wanted, um, as, you know, as far as I can tell in the way it was described when I did the estimate. This bed was not part of the estimate, but there was uh, two trash cans full of leaves in here. So um, I did get that out. I didn't do what I did in those beds in here, but I did get all them leaves out, most of them, because they weren't there when I did the estimate. Like I said, she had this island and the one on the other side pretty clean, and the ones in the back pretty clean. And uh, when I got here today, they were not clean. So I did that smaller bed right here, not the monster one over there though, it just, you know, can't really uh, do a ton <laughs> without charging more. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the equipment away. Maybe I'll wait around a little bit. And uh, then after that, I'm gonna go to the dump because I wanna, wanna get this day wrapped up. All right, just got to the dump. Uh, the customer got home. As I was packing up, I said if they weren't home, I was gonna go ahead and come to the dump and then go back to do the walkthrough. Luckily, they pulled in literally as I was putting um, the equipment away. And uh, yeah, the customer was very happy with everything. Uh, she wants it done again in November. She already wanted to know what week in November would be best to schedule it. So um, yeah, I'm happy she was happy. So I know that's a, we, we don't mow her lawn, but at least I know that's a nice cleanup we'll have once or twice a year on our schedule. And um, even though it wasn't the biggest job, I did charge um, top price for it. I knew it was going to be a little bit of a mess. It was in all the ivy and so we did charge top dollar for that job. And uh, she was happy to pay it. Not like these other customers. I've been doing estimates for this week. <clears throat> and everything I hear is, oh, that's uh, it's a little too much. J just for five or six hours of your time and trips to the dump and all the gas is gonna cost you. And uh, if you gotta have help paying them for the day, Jeez, 300 bucks. I can't, you know, get out of here. I, the money, the number was just an example, I don't know. But um, I've never dealt with that too much. But yeah, for some reason this week, I've been dealing with that a lot. All right, guys, it's almost five o'clock. 
I need to get out of here and head home. Um, I did get my floor installed, finally. I finished uh, sealing it today. I had to rip this last piece, real thin piece, but I don't care, looks fine. Now I need to decide how I'm going to secure the big mowers up here. Uh, I used to use two by fours, two of them, the back wheels would sit in. Honestly, I'm thinking I'm going to just go ahead and go with that. My other option is putting E-Track and then, um, um, you know, a strap around the E-Track. I don't know if I really like that though, but if I do use the two by fours, I'm not going to screw them in. I will bolt them in from the bottom, just like I did with the floor using carriage bolts because I don't want it tearing my floor up. I rather it have a few holes in it uh, rather than the screws bending and ripping the wood up. Uh, I do like the floor. Now I started um, sealing my side walls for my pickup truck. I will actually finish sealing the side walls for the truck on Thursday. And I should have them installed on Thursday. And those will be back on. I have a job scheduled for tomorrow. Then we have some weather coming. Um, some rain. So I'll be able to work tomorrow. Thursday I'll be here getting the side walls done. Uh, Friday I'm busy. Next week, depending on the weather, if, if we have um, good weather, we'll be working all ne all week next week. We have jobs lined up pretty far now. So, all right, got to get out of here. If you liked the video, hit like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Let me know everything I'm doing wrong and keep the edges clean, boys. I'm out.